Yo, 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 what they do, YouTube? It's your boys back in the building. Back. You know what I'm saying? We here with it. You know, we've been bullshitting for a little while, but, you know, we had our own little personal little things going on. You know, I had to move out and try to find a new spot and stuff like that, so I was focused on working and stuff like that. And that's pretty much it about myself, about what I had going on. Y'all had anything with what y'all had going on? I ain't really had nothing going on. It was just mainly like the whole schedule conflict shit going on. That too. But, hey man, we back. Yeah. We ain't going nowhere. I was just bullshitting. It's just my shit. <laughs> it wasn't really nothing <laughs> too complex with me though. But we back, bro. We can't we can't, we can't fall off again, bro. Uh, we here with it. Oh yeah, for sure. We definitely going to lock in and consistency. Got more content. You know, it's all about staying consistent. Mm-hmm. And, you know, getting these podcasts in. Hell yeah. And, you know, last episode we ended off talking about, you know, we debating on which one is better versus Power and Snowfall. So I feel like we should just pick it up from there. Might as well. You know, since both shows are ended, you know, how, how, like what's y'all take on, you know, how both of them how both of them series ended? All right. So, I mean, I can't wait to Power come back. I just want to see, like, the biggest thing for me, I want to see if Kane dead, bro. Yeah. That's my biggest thing. Cause I, I seen he got hit. Braden came in with the shits. Oh, yeah. But with, with uh, Snowfall, uh, I feel like it ended how it should. I actually like the ending, though. Yeah. It's a, it was a full circle moment for that nigga. He ended up like his pops. Yeah. It was, right. It was kind of controversial. I, I seen a lot of people say they don't like how it ended. I fucked with yeah. but, but I fucked with it. I, I didn't. I didn't see it coming. I didn't see that coming. I thought he probably was going to just end up dead or something. See, but but the crazy thing is though, everybody thought it was going to end like that. But now that we see that, that like how it ended, I actually like it though. No, I fuck with it because like tough. everything came back in full circle for, for Franklin. Mm-hmm. And 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 people saying like, oh, you know, he didn't have a good team by him, but he really did. It just did. it just I don't know. Towards the end, he was just really mon- like money hungry. Even though he had money, he just wanted more. Like he was stressing about that money that Teddy was gonna give him. Yeah. But do y'all feel like like CC really like just fucked him over? No. No. At first I did, but then when I thought about it, I'm like, even if he did get the money from Teddy, Teddy was gonna come back for that nigga, bro. I think so too. I feel like you know, like the CIA, like they were gonna come back and get him. They was gonna come back for him, bro. So I feel like she did what she had to do. He just took it the wrong way. Right, but she, but she could have just waited for him to transfer the money. They she could have. She could have. I ain't gonna cap. That's the only thing I was like, man, I don't know, bro. He, she could have waited a couple more seconds, bro. She went crazy. I mean, I, underst- I like understand the whole point of it because she felt like the money was just taking over her son. Like you know, she wanted yeah. to stop. Yeah. But I just felt like she could have went all a different way with it. Now right. she she gonna have to get arrested, and frankly, gonna be broke. Like, what's the point of all that, bro? That's she right. fucked over my boy, man. She fucked that nigga over. And then how y'all feel about everybody else, like Leon? I felt like Leon was, I felt like he ended up the best out of everybody. Yeah. I mean, clearly. I, f- I fucked with his character development. Like him oh, going yeah, to Africa sure. with Wanda. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, from the beginning, when he was like a hothead, hot standing head. the PJs to now, like, like he really made a transition in his whole life. Facts. Yeah. I just really show you, man. Once you get out your hood, man, you start seeing a different perspective and shit. Mm-hmm. Boy, went to Africa, started thinking about his people back home, like, Think about how he could make everything better. Right. Go home, he see everything was still the same the way he left it. He couldn't do nothing about it, though. He tried. He couldn't do shit about it, bro. Shit gonna stay the same. You have to take change. yourself out of certain situations, bro. And then and then what about V? Franklin old lady. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I ain't like I ain't like her from I felt yeah, like, I ain't like her was from, from beginning, bro. I ain't like her from jump. But she, at the same time, though, I felt like she tried to look out for Franklin, but at the same time, he wasn't. He wasn't, wasn't going for it. Uh, uh, she told him to sell the property. He was like, "Nah, we're not doing that." Like, and he went behind my back to do it. But you know that she has a baby on the way. Like, she's looking out for both of y'all, the baby and you. Like, mm-hmm. when you said no, it's like you basically said like you know, efforts for real, for real. So, I mean, I don't blame her. What she, she had to do what she had to do. Nah, hell no. She shouldn't have took all that bread. What you mean? At oh, least take some, bro. Franklin was going to kill her, bro. She at least take some of that bread, bro. I don't know, bro. I don't, I don't think she should have took everything, though. Because it wasn't like it was all her money. How much was it? 800000 or something? Yeah, 800000 
Oh, oh, dear, oh, did she shut up, bro? I don't know, bro. Even though she is having a baby, yeah. But it's like, nigga, that's my bread, too. Like, yeah. She should have took some at least. Regardless, it would have been crazy, but she should have just took some, bro. Taking everything, knowing what the nigga going through. That's why. Yeah. I, don't know, bro. I couldn't be in show. But didn't, but, but, but didn't she hit him up at one point, like at the end, when she called him? To let the, to let him know he was good. She was good. Yeah. That was it. It wasn't <laughs> no nigga come come meet back up with me. None of that. Yeah, true. But it's a safety hazard though. She knew he was gonna if he ever found her, he gonna kill her. I think so. Yeah, he might he might have that nigga kill anybody for that bread. And then and then kill what, about, again? what about Louis? Louis was over there in that in that little <laughs> in that little, little farm. farm. Little farm shit. <laughs> she about to get caught up. I felt bad, man. After Jerome went, I was, I felt like a piece of my heart went. Well, I, was about to cry. Oh. I felt so bad. I didn't know what I don't even know what to think after that. Yeah, I was I was sad though. But I mean, everybody rode for Jerome though. You know? Yeah. He was the OG of everybody for real, for real. Yeah, yeah. But back to power though, I don't know. I don't know how Braden and Tyreek gonna do it, but I feel like everybody is on them though. Like what? I think I think Tommy gonna have to come back and help him. That's what I said. That's what I was saying. Yeah, I feel like I feel like Tommy might come back in because you know if you look at like if you look at the last episode, like they showed that how Diane was the one that was orchestrating everything, but on um, Tommy's mom's door, she has a ring camera on there. So if they ever see that ring camera they and they see Diane, Diane yeah. like if, like even if Diane and Drew try to take out Tommy's mama, that's how Tommy gonna come back. Yeah, Tommy definitely gonna come back. Yeah, that's what I think. Yeah. Mm, I know how I feel. Out of that shit, bro. That shit, I feel like it's just dry. Trying to find any reason to just keep dragging it on. But it's good bro. though. Like it's good. Like Effie, like that was my girl in law. You watch Power? She really did. You feel like it shit just getting dragged out, right? I have not watched Power too. Oh shit, crazy. Oh, oh man, shit, you're crazy. You wait. I'm holla, I'm holla that boy. Okay, okay. Yeah, but I just feel like Effie when she got out of out of out of jail, she was trying to get back good with Tariq. Tariq, like nah, like you just slept with Kane, like mm-hmm. like you tripping. And now she gonna go back to normal. I, I want to know who Norma's daughter is. Like, she, like she gonna make an appearance? I think so too. She gonna make an appearance. Probably somebody we already know, right? I saw on Facebook they were talking about it was supposed to be um like um light skin Keisha on some on some weird funny jump. I don't know how true that is, but I seen it on the book. So I'm just I don't like, see that. I don't see that happening. That's weird. And then whatever happened to that other dude that was in their class that was sleeping with Diane? Did anybody figure him out yet? Oh, you talking about the woke boy? Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. that weird nigga. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, I ain't like bro from Jump either. He weird. That mean, nigga made me cringe. He was weird, though. That nigga mm-hmm. made me cringe, bro. Weird as fuck, bro. And then, like, he was saying stupid junk at the wrong time. like Yeah. Talking about this what your dad deserved. He was a drug dealer, this and that. Yeah. But I ain't gonna though. Monet green as hell, though, for, for murking um, uh, her damn husband, Lorenzo. She green. Like she like she green for that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. She can't do that. That whole shit was an accident, bro. Cause she thought he killed Zeke. That whole shit was an accident. Nah, for her killing Lorenzo ain't no accident, but Lorenzo killing killing Zeke was an accident. That's what I'm saying. Well, that's the reason she got him killed. Cause she yeah. found out that he was the one that actually killed him, but remember he was trying to kill Mecca for real. Yeah, but she's still green though for getting one of the um one of the brothers to kill oh, yeah. Lorenzo to get you know what I'm saying? Drew, Drew had to kill a little him. boyfriend. Yeah. Hey, yo. That shit was green. But we also got, can't forget about BMF, though, how that ended. I forgot how that shit ended. Oh, B. Mickey got kicked out? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got yeah, kicked yeah. out. Oh, yeah. yeah. Didn't, they, didn't they send that nigga to, like, Atlanta or some shit? Nah, they they was. Oh, they was. And, then, and then and then they ended up. But he came out. to the cookout, and he was like, yeah, bro, yeah. Yeah. do what you like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because yeah, that detective Oh, yeah, because, because yeah, cause they seen, somebody seen him talking to talking the detective. To, yeah. yeah. So they ended up, so Meech ended up going down to the A and let Terry run Detroit. Yeah, Detroit. Mm-hmm. But he got wet up, though, by D.C. Um, Young Fly. Yeah. So you got to see how that go. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Man, it's, it's just all crazy, man, how we just got to wait till the next episode, the next season, see how that turn out. But, I mean, but it's a lot of good actors in them episodes, though, that, that really, especially, like, artists, like they really been acting their ass off recently in these shows. That's a fact. Oh, like like rappers and shit. Like yeah. rappers turning to actors. Like Cash Doll, like, you know, she played her part good. Yeah. yeah, 
Casey. Yeah. But I didn't like Carisha, bro. R.I.P. Casey. You didn't like Carisha? <laughs> Carisha, young Miami, bro. She is. Uh, she, she need to uh, wrap it up. She's just, she's old. This ain't it. This ain't it. She probably get better, though. She a, she an executive producer on uh, this one show called Rap Shit, though. That shit dope. It's on HBO. That bit dope. Oh, I ain't never seen it, though. She, well, she not. I think she was in like one episode, but she like behind the scenes for for her and JT. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's already. But. Damn. So talking about like rappers turn actors, like, to me, like I guess this trend like started back way back, like nineties oh, like, type for shit. Real, like, so, like who who are some of y'all favorite rappers turn actors? Mm, you know, you gotta, you gotta say Cube. Cube been in so many different movies. So you know, I fuck with Cube. Go. Wait, I right, so like name name like your top five for real. My top five, I'll probably say Cube, um, Snoop, uh, who else? Method Man. I fuck Met- with Method. Yeah, if I fuck with Method Man, shit. Yeah. Method Man. Who else? Um hmm. I can't think of on top of my head. What do you think Method Man's best role like was? I like I like how high. How yeah, how, how high? Yeah, but how I ain't gonna lie, his like, shit he doing out of power, bro. Oh yeah, that's good. Clean? Yeah. That that's motherfucker, he acting his ass off, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. How high for sure. And um I like him as soul plane too. Oh soul plane. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> crying at soul plane. I think it's crazy. Yeah, so you saw that 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 post on Facebook that was like, oh, you know, Method Man with the Harvard, everything paid off. Mm-hmm. Then he ended up becoming a lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was dead. Oh shit. Oh, you, said, you, got, you got two more, bro. Two more. You, said, you said Snoop, Ice, Ice Cube, and, and Meth. Meth. Um, Eminem and Eight Mile was cool. That was a cool one. And then Ludacris been in all the Fast and the Furious. So I fuck with him on on that on that note. Yeah, Luda was in the Hustle and Flow too. Mm-hmm. Oh, and goddamn Tyrese. Yeah. And Waist Deep and all them other all Tyrese, them other shows. Tyrese definitely been been out here doing his thing, bro. Yeah, yeah. Who y'all got? I'm gonna just go through my shit because I know I'm not a movie nigga. I'm gonna just go through my shit real quick. <laughs> I've, so I'm, I agree with the Q, with Ice Cube for sure. Ice Cube. Um, I'm gonna say Fifty. Can't leave out Fifty. Yeah, mm-hmm. Gary Trim died trying like my top three favorite movies Rex. ever. Rex. Too tough. Mm-hmm. Uh, who else? I want to say DMX, but I only really only seen him in two movies. I don't know if he if he had more. Did he? Belly, Cradle to the Grave. Yeah, those are only two I really know. He was, he was. I feel like he was in some more shit too. All right, so let me hold on. I just can't think about this. Hold on, DMX for a little bit. There. I'm gonna say Tupac. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Juice, Poetic Justice. Um, who else? Damn, I don't know. I can say Snoop. I can say Snoop Dogg too for sure. And I'ma say um But you kinda wanna know who else that I like that I like he not in too many movies and shows, but mm-hmm. when he was on this show, he really added his ass off. That boy Kendrick. Bro, I power. swear to God I was thinking about that shit. Bro, he really you added played his that crackhead? ass off. Yes. That, cra- that Spanish bro. crackhead. Bro, nah, facts. I think it was a Spanish facts. crackhead. That's facts. wild. That's crazy. Bro, that's the only shit I seen him in, so. Um, who else? Even though they used to get killed in the first two minutes, I fucked with Chris Brown in some movies. Oh yeah, yeah. Stomp the yard. He, right. he didn't get killed in uh, this Christmas. Oh, <laughs> the Christmas uh, the yard yeah, takers. Fuck, fuck the breezy. Yes, breezy. clapping that nigga. Yes. Um, yeah, that's all I could really think of, bro. I didn't know I'm not in no movie shit like that. Artists turn actors. Let me see. All right, so offer up, goat cube, offer up. Uh. Fifty for sure. LL. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna throw Queen Latifah in there too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She has, she has been going gotta crazy. Gotta throw Queen Latifah in there, bro. Um, who else? Who else? Last one. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna th- I'm gonna throw DMX in there. DMX. Gotta throw DMX in there. Yeah, and then also Ti. Ti been a lot of movies. Mm-hmm. A lot of uh, TV shows. That last shit that he did on Netflix with uh, DC and them. Oh, um, the shit with the with, the with the weed. Yeah, with the weed. That shit was ass. Yeah, like it. <laughs> that shit was ass. <laughs> it, was, it was cool. It was ass. That nigga bro. acting on that shit was terrible. His acting on ATL and like Takers and that shit. That shit was good. 
But that shit that he did, shit was terrible. That shit was trash. That shit was terrible. Shit, what about Ice T? Niggas are not fucking with Ice T. Yeah, yeah. Law and Order. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he was cool. Yeah, you know, we still got Dr. Dre. Dre. Dre was in. Oh, he was in a car wash movie with Snoop. Oh, yeah. I remember that shit. <laughs> I remember that shit for sure. Yeah. Um, you wanna know who I fucked with too? Bow Wow, nigga. Oh yeah, yeah Bow Wow. Yeah, it's a movie, movie like yeah. Mike. For sure. Johnson's Roll Family Bounce. Reunion. Yeah. I mean, where's it called? Vacation. Yeah. Johnson Family Vacation. Vacation. Yeah. Roll that Bounce. Was hard, lottery bro. ticket. Roll Bounce. It was in a lot of good. I ain't gonna lie. Bow Wow don't have to be in my nah, top yeah, five, facts. bro. Facts. Bow Wow went like crazy. Mike. Yeah. Different. That's a childhood classic, bro. That's different. I ain't gonna lie, but yeah. Yeah, that shit ain't gonna have to go in my top five for surely. Facts. So you know, I'd be on I've been on social media and I've been seeing a lot of people debating about these two um comedians and I wanted to get y'all take on who y'all think is better or funnier in their prime. Chris Tucker or Martin Lawrence? What y'all thinking? Funnier? Funnier, I'ma say. Damn, bro, <laughs> this shit is tough, bro. It is tough. Overall for me, I'm going Martin. Overall. Okay, okay. okay. Only because, like, of course he had his own show and shit and all that. Um, but it's the way he was doing on the show, bro. Like, yeah, most of the shit was improv, bro. Yeah. And having a show, you get to see more of him. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, Chris Tucker, we had to see him in the movies, little appearances and shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, with Martin, we had to see that nigga, bro, all the time, bro. Especially yeah. now growing up with the reruns, the Martin reruns. It's like, they don't let you forget how funny that nigga was, bro. Yeah. And then Chris Tucker was, back in the day, he was... Mainly a supporting actor. He wasn't like the face of a movie or a face of a show. He was he was always a supporting actor. Mm-hmm. I fuck with Chris Tucker heavy though. True. But I'm gonna go Martin though for sure. Yeah, me. I don't know. I I love Chris Tucker as a comedian. I feel like he's very funny. You know, all the rush hours. You know, I like all of them. And you know, he did Friday and stuff like that. But I but like movie wise, you got to give it to Martin. You know, he got shows, movies. Yeah, he just. I feel like I just seen more of Martin, really. Yeah, he yeah. just. I don't really know who's funnier, funnier, but I would say I would say Martin because I really seen him in more shit on the TV, like all the Bad Boys, all them shit is crazy. Yeah. Um, damn, I forgot a question I was gonna ask. But are y'all taking Bad Boys over the Rush Hour series? I was just about to say which 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 one y'all which trilogy y'all picking? I'm taking Rush Hour. I'm, That's just me. I'm taking Bad Boy. I'm taking Bad Boys. Only because I really love Will Smith for real. Will Smith's my favorite actor. Will Smith's my favorite actor too. I, I, but I don't know, bro. They, that's that's a tough ass question. That is a tough ass question. You gotta choose. <laughs> I'm gonna go Bad Boys, bro. You know, sorry. Bad Boys. <laughs> sorry. I love Rush Hour though. Yeah, I mean Bad Boys was a great was a great movie series, but I just I feel know. like they should have made that last one. They need to just wrap it up. They should have stopped that three. They talking about making the fourth one. I know. Mm-hmm. They should have just well, both of them. Both of them talking about making the fourth movie. Yeah, I think they. This would be the fifth, technically. Oh yeah, the fifth for Bad Boy, but the but it's gonna be four. Out. Yeah, but no, they yeah wrap that shit up, bro. Yeah, that's that's it, they should just left it how they ended it on three, bro. God damn. Four, it was all right, but I just feel like they could have we could have did without it. But it wasn't a bad movie though. It wasn't. Fucking Will Smith had a son. That was hard though. How he, he got, would find his son and got like, wet up. Hard. Yeah, he did get his ass popped. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Oh, so no, since we talking about them, what, what, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did we speak about that before? What? Uh, Martin and uh, Fresh Prince. Yeah, we spoke about that. Yeah, right. yeah, okay, yeah okay. that was for the the, the this or that. We yeah, were talking oh, about yeah, the show yeah, is yeah. better. Yeah. Damn, we gotta do one of those again. Yeah, yeah we definitely. Yeah, we gotta do one. We definitely gonna do a, a debate episode where we get special guests and we just debate on certain topics. Yeah, well, I feel like some guests for sure. Yeah. Oh yeah, guests definitely guess on the way. Mm-hmm. You know, we just gonna get a lot of entrepreneurs. You know, up and coming, you know, whoever, comedians, whatever, we're going to have them on the show. Artists, all that. Hell yeah. And talk about how, you know, they go through their day-to-day to get to where they want to get to. The other day, y'all, y'all seen that whole situation with, uh, what's his name? YK Osiris? YK Osiris, yeah. I feel like he was just, I don't know, I don't know what type of, you know, time he was on, but he was definitely aggressive when it came to yeah. Shawty. And then people were talking about how... The music that Suki put out is the reason why he felt like he could approach her like that. But nigga, at the end of the day, she human, bro. At the end of the day, like you can't walk up to a female and just try to put your tongue down her throat. Like, nigga, but she's a wild woman too, though. Yeah, and she was smiling and 
Yeah. Ooh, ooh, you know like, but at the end of the day, like all the extra kissing shit and all that, like yeah. trying to like tongue her down, all type of crazy shit. He just did too much with all that. But you think like 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 she's okay with suing him though? Like what about that? I feel like it, I, me personally, I feel like it's not a big deal to just to, to sue a, to sue him like that though. Like sexual harassment, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of shit is really sexual harassment if you really think about it. But come on, bro, don't, shit don't really be that serious, bro. But at the end of the day, it's whatever, bro. I feel like she, I feel like she didn't really take it as a big thing until she seen everybody blow up about it on social media. Yeah, I feel like I feel, that, it. I feel like that's what it was. I feel that. I don't know. Because then she had to come out with a public. Uh, Apology approval. Mm. Oh, I accept his apology and this and that. I'm going. I'm not going to do anything to him. He's young. Feel me? That's cool. Like feel me. That's. I feel like she shouldn't have it anyway. But you know, I don't know. I don't feel like it was really that serious. But he just wilded out with the whole. Yeah, nigga tripping. Yeah. Nigga doing everything but making music. Like massaging her shoulders. <laughs> all right. Exactly. <laughs> massaging her shoulders and this shit is all right. Feel me? Yeah, nigga. Whatever. Trying to put your tongue on throat. That's wild. Bro. That's ridiculous. That is wild. Yeah. Right. That was so uncalled for. I see, I see you know, on Twitter <laughs> what Meek said about it. What? Meek was like, um, how Suki shit and press charges don't do that to that young man and she should hold it down on some street shit. Yeah. Oh, my God. I love Meek. <laughs> I love Meek, but the, the whole, everything was all right until the hold it down on some street shit shit came out. I was like, bro, what do you mean, bro? <laughs> what do you mean by that? What do you mean, <laughs> you mean bro? By hold it down on some street shit, bro? You're something crazy. Hell no. Now, but how, but, but how y'all feel about that Travis Rudolph? Oh, how he not guilty and the whole situation with about that. that nigga should I'm, not be guilty. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. Facts. I'm yeah, glad definitely. he free. He been wilding though. I'm, I'm definitely. Like, what to the girl? Like, like, he been wilding since. What happened to the wilding. girl though? Lock her ass up. We ain't, yeah. we ain't giving. Her. Damn, they ain't say nothing yet about, about that. Send she need to be in, in, all in of the them county right now. All of them. All the brothers and everything. If she has any ounce of freedom, she needs to just be. Facts. Feel me? Yeah, cause she 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 initiated the hit. Yeah, she was she was go shoot his shit up. Right. Deleting messages. Yo, and message. then she lying on the stand for real. If y'all Perjury. didn't if y'all didn't watch Perjury. if y'all didn't watch that whole courtroom scene with her, go watch that shit. That bitch is retarded. Man, she was over there flogging by everything she was saying. Yeah. And then she was Googling up like, oh, how to get away with this yeah. and looking up, oh, can I get in trouble for this? Like, mm-hmm. come I didn't on. See now. That part. Yes. She, yes, like they went through her her, her, watch that shit, her Google searches. Mm-hmm. Lock her ass up. Like all their ass <laughs> up. Lock her up. Facts. Man, crazy. But nah, that boy been wildin' though, bro. Like, what he been doing since he... Like, like the first day he got out, he was with, um... With, I sent uh, you that shit. Yeah, um, I saw him, like, celebrating. You know, he was with Dalvin Cook and Yeah, Dalvin, Dalvin Cook. Was the, yeah, you was on you playing? Nah. That nigga will still be alive you niggas ain't gas him up. Oh, yeah, I see now. He was on live, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, bro, oh. of all the songs, bro, I feel it, though. I feel it. But yeah. you got to chill, bro. You got to wait till they get locked up first. I don't right? know. I'm like, doing you, all that shit. You just got you out, You just bro. tried to fucking... Oh, facts. Kill me. Facts. Yeah. To but you gotta me, you gotta nigga? play it cool until <laughs> me you try to kill me, nigga. Right. I'm yeah. what? it's me, nigga. It's me. You try to kill me, nigga. I'm doing what I'm trolling all that. I just got off away from murder. I just clapped your ass. Real for shit, free. though. Nah, real shit. Real like shit. like I feel it, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like I feel it, but it's certain shit. You gotta play it cool until to yeah, all that shit locked up, bro. Shit. Yeah. I mean, I'm just glad that he just, you know, just beat that whole case. But how y'all feel about Melly though? You know, Melly going through his whole little case. You know, it, it, it it's somewhat looking okay for him. People say he might it's be the looking case. okay. You might, but I ain't gonna lie. I don't want to get too hyped because after the whole shit with Tory, I thought Tory was gonna be home free. The Tory ass. So I like that boy. He said he trying to go to. Uh, he's trying to go back to trial. He trying to go back to trial. Not yet, but they keep denying his appeal though. Yeah, yeah, I, like, I think that's like the second or third appeal they denied to feel me. Mm-hmm. To whatever, bro. But. Free Tory, bro. That ain't gonna do shit, bro. <laughs> he said he I don't care what y'all niggas say. Tory ain't do nothing, nigga. That ain't gonna do nothing. I ain't trying to get too deep into that. He ain't do nothing, nigga. <laughs> fuck, fuck, Meg. I low key miss miss that boy Lucci, though. I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh-huh. For real. <laughs> we need to hear one of them on the track. You heard about his, you heard the plea, the plea. Yeah, that's 17 years. Yeah. Um, you took it, though, right? Nah. Damn. Nah, I don't think I'm gonna get 17. No, yeah, like, it's a plea deal yeah, for him to do deal. 17 instead of doing life. But I, unless you just want to take it to trial, but it's a you good, take it to trial, nigga. You, you yeah, you life. might fuck around and this might be over with. But at the same time, though, how, got, how many years he did? Like he three so far, three four? Or four. Like he got a little bit of time served, so he might just do like a good twelve, <laughs> thirteen. Nah, I mean I don't know. I, I only can speak oh, for myself, man. but I mean if I was his shoes, fuck it, I'm always take that shit to trial. Cause you might you might actually beat it if you got money left to pay and for some not, good lawyers. And if not, 
Mm -hmm. not, he doesn't have not, a good chance of being it. It's a whatever chance. We don't even know. Like, you really don't got a good chance. Bro, like, how old is Lucci? Another 12, 13 years from now? Yeah, it's going to be over with for real. Damn near 50. You know what I'm saying? Damn near. Mm -hmm. Kid, his, you know, he got a daughter. He got, he got, he got, yeah, he got, he got, he got like six kids, right? Yeah, type shit. Yeah, he's gonna be out of college by the time this nigga get out. You feel me? I, I say take the plea, bro. 17, bro. And just sit down for 12 years. You get, you feel me? You you did time serve. Might not have to do, it, do the whole shit. Maybe. You feel me? I don't know. He might get off and do it. Feel me? He need like 13, 13, 14. I don't know how much years he did, but 13, 14, get, take some years off, bro. I think it might be home in nine, bro. Who knows, bro? He might be home in ten. I don't know. I just feel like you know what a lot of them locked up. I just feel like we missing out on a lot of good music from them artists. It's like you know, I feel like he would have been burnt out, bro. Boosie got locked up. Boosie got locked up. Pooh and Fu still locked up. Who and who? Uh, Fujiano and, and Pusha T. Oh, Pusha T. Goddamn, you know Thug still locked up. So I just feel like Free Thug, man. Talk about Thug. Frida Slime. Talking about Thug. <clears throat> Who listened to that new Gunna? Oh, yeah, Gunna. I'm, I ain't gonna count though. From listening to this album, I'm glad Gunna took that plea and got that lot because that oh, album that hard. Shit hard. That shit is hard, bro. That shit is hard. That album tough. I ain't gonna lie to you. 15. That shit is hard. Yeah, can we talk about that a little bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. All right. What's y'all top three songs on that shit? Just give me three. Three quick ones. All right, I'm gonna give you. Um, I'm gonna give you Born Rich. I gotta, I gotta look at the fuck. I'm gonna My give baby you. gonna be Born Rich. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, born shit, Rich. Man. I'm gonna give um, P Angels and uh, what was the other one? It was like like turn your back down or turn, turn oh turn, turn your back. back. Yeah, that song was hard. Turn your back is probably my top three too, but I don't got I can't give you a three, bro. I'm gonna have to give you like a good six, nigga. Like, <laughs> that shit is crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Run through them real quick. Go ahead. Yeah, you might have to go next. All right, so I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Fuck, I'm trying not to put bread and butter in that shit because bread and butter really hard. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna put bread and butter in. It. So I, right, I'm gonna go. Fuck you, me. Turn your back. And back to the moon. Back to the moon is my favorite. Actually, from looking at the video, the, the video was okay. It was. That shit it wasn't was all. Hard. It wasn't all that. But that shit was hard. Bro. It was okay, but it, it, but it did make me like the song better though. That shit was hard. That, my back boy got skinny. Tough. Yeah, he did though. And he don't even look like. You don't even look like him no more. Right? He, wasn't eat, he wasn't eating that food up in the county. So I seen that shit from he was in Bread and Butter video. That nigga lost mad. Yeah, weight. I seen that shit, but but in the uh, Back to the Moon shit, he had the little cut off sleeve yeah. shits. Yeah. So I'm seeing like more of his little frame now. Like that nigga, really a little scrawny. Yeah, bro. I might, I might have to, you know, set up a boxing match with me and him. Might well. Might beat his ass. <laughs> I ain't gonna fight Gunner. I ain't gonna fight Gunner. I'll fuck with Gunner, <laughs> bro. I'll, I'll fuck with Gunner. Fuck with Gunner. <laughs> Damn, I don't know. My favorites. Wait, what you say? You said Back to the Moon, Fuck You Mean, and what? Back to the Moon, Fuck You Mean, and Turn Your Back. Turn Your Back. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Cash shit hard, too. Cash shit is hard. Oh, honestly, personally, I like all the songs besides P. Angels. Crazy. And Bottom is grown on me. Bottom hard. I ain't gonna that's lie. How I feel, that's how I feel about Rodeo Drive. Like, Rodeo, Rodeo, Rodeo oh. Drive grew on me. <laughs> when I first hard. heard that shit, I was like, mm, I don't know. But that shit grew on me, though. Way that shit go in. What was the song before it? We was, we was listening to Oh, the uh, yeah, we was listening to the little transition in between the two songs. It was Fuck You Mean going into Rodeo Drive. Yeah, them two shits was crazy, bro. Yeah. I'm happy my boy uh, Turbo ain't switches, switch sides yeah. on him. Shout out to Turbo, Turbo man. Yeah. You know, Wheezy and all them niggas. I ain't gonna lie, but he made Dirk look like a dickhead, bro. I just hope he sell more than him now. Yeah. He probably would. His album was definitely way better than Dirk shit. Yeah, I'm taking it. Even though Dirt didn't have a bad album, but Gunna shit right. is just on the top right. right now. As of so far, right now this year, yeah, so far, like compared to Dirt so, shit, so far, what y'all got as y'all top three albums so far? So far, I'm not gonna group me. <laughs> I knew you gonna put Kodak in there. Of course, that <laughs> shit so whack, bro. That shit, oh, oh, Kodak bro. shit was alright. It, it wasn't I, his I best love shit, Kodak, but, bro, but nah, it was, it, was, it wasn't terrible. It wasn't terrible. It's not. It's not really like a Kodak album that everybody want and right. and, and looking forward to. It wasn't a Project Baby album, but but it was still a good, decent album to me. Like yeah, I like it. Good. Like I could go in the car and just let it just run through, and you just gonna catch a little vibe from it. I thought it was it's like he just threw a bunch of songs together. But I feel like he just dropped that shit to get out his deal. I think that's the last album on his contract. I do agree too, though. But I mean, yeah, he out of, he out of but I, I I do believe he's gonna drop another album before the year end. 
Yeah, for sure. You know, that's his Kodak, body. Kodak Good will drop two albums in a year. Yeah, we in June, bro. He got six more months. Right. He gonna, he gonna drop some shit. Hopefully. Yeah, so you got who? Kodak? What else? Kodak. You said top three? Top three. I'm three. Because you know, when, once we end the year, we're gonna give our recap on I'm our top give, five or some shit. I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give Kodak, Gunner. There's not no, no specific order. Yeah. And then I'm gonna give it to, um, you can't leave out Young Boy though. Young Boy, well, how many? He dropped what two albums so far this year? Oh, I don't know. Really like that. I think he dropped like two albums so far this year. Yeah. So, which Young Boy? So which Young Boy album? Um. Hey, which? Did he drop a DJ drama album? Or was that last year? That might have been last year. Yeah, that might have been last year. Top of this year. But this year he dropped that. Um, don't try this at home. Oh yeah. He dropped that this year. And then oh, you talking about the shit that he he was supposed to drop the same time as uh, what's that nigga name? Oh, Dirk. It was Dirk. Dirk. And I feel yeah. like, oh, yeah. Rich, ain't that Richest Op? The Richest Op is the one he that's dropped. That's the last of last year he dropped. Dirk yeah, he dropped that on Dirk the Dirk and Soldier Boy. Yeah. 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 I ain't even hear Soldier Boy shit. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't hey. not getting no play. <laughs> I ain't hear that shit. And nobody ain't talking about social media, so I, no. it, it can't be talking about shit. No. I ain't gonna lie to you. Out of all I three, I think this is third, this is third album this year. Yo, Remember that I rest my case. Remember we was bumping that heavy. That's the, like the little rocks. That little that shit hard type. though. I ain't gonna lie. I feel to like you. I like that, that shit more, hard. I feel like I like that more than any other shit. Did you listen to the other albums though? Oh uh, yeah, I like. I listen, to, bro. I like Young Boy, bro. Like I just, I'm just not a big, bigger, big ass fan. Like how I was back in the day. Oh yeah. You know I mean? But each, each album, all his albums, honestly, probably got a good three I could just take off and ride with, honestly. But so who you got? You said you got Kodak. Call that um, young boy and young boy and gunner. All right, who you got? Um, I'm I'm going gunner for sure. I like Coke. I like the new Coke Boys album. French, French Montana. He dropped Coke that boy like six. Yeah, that, show, like that shit was tough. He dropped that shit on top of the top of top the year. of the top of the year for surely. Um, way to start the year off. I don't know who else, bro. Um, one more. Else. Probably Don Tolliver. Don Tolliver? Don Tolliver had that. Yeah, I still listen to that. Ain't mad at shit. that. I fought with Don Tolliver. Don Tolliver album was hard. And another album I was really listening to a lot, even though I listened to all of the songs, I listened to that uh, that Gumbo. Gumbo. Like, oh, Gumbo. Yeah, Gumbo. Oh, my God. That's definitely on my shit. Egg Flares. That's, that's on my. No, wait. No, I'm tripping. You talking about. Uh, to my Nudie. Nudie. Yeah, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Yeah. I'm tripping. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I like that album. I ain't going to lie. But now, my three, I'm going to say, of course, Gunner. Uh, fuck. This three gonna be hard. So Gunner, Doughboy shit was tough. Yeah, Doughboy shit tough. tough. But I'm gonna put I'm gonna put uh, I don't know them. They got to share slots. Doughboy, I ain't gonna lie. Cash Doll shit was crazy. I ain't, Cash I ain't, Doll and DJ Drama. I ain't never listened. That to shit was though. crazy. I'm gonna put them two in the same slot. And then for my three, I'm gonna go with DJ Drama again. For the um, I'm really like that, that album. That's one of my favorite albums of the year too. That that motherfucker went crazy. Yeah. Drama got what three albums out already for the year? For the year, yeah. He has his own shit. He got his own shit. The Coke Boys and um, Cash Doll. Yeah, that's yeah. three for the year. Yeah, he was going crazy. Crazy. Yeah. He been doing a lot of crazy. He been doing a lot of shit. I ain't gonna lie. But I ain't gonna lie though. Even though y'all don't, y'all didn't like it, but I I kind of fuck with that Baby Drill album though. I ain't even listen like, to that shit for real. I feel like it's just something that I just play in the car and just Drew. Yeah, you know, if I'm on some like on some like bumping hard shit, I'm gotta play that baby drill. I don't know. That shit was trash, bro. In all honesty, I don't know. I don't really like it. I fuck I, I like I like Baby Drill though. I like I like his little character. He's a character to me in this in the industry. He's funny as hell. But but who y'all looking forward to for the rest of the year as far as I'm looking for Kodak dropping another album. You know I'm gonna say Boston Rich because the two singles yeah, he got oh, yeah, coming up is yeah. tough. I'm waiting on that shit. I'm waiting on Boston Drop. Uh, the the my image and um yeah, neck, of the and neck of the woods. Yeah. Those two hard ass songs. I play those songs every day in the whip. Every day. Yeah. Since he became a known rat, he been fired. I ain't gonna lie, his music got a little bit better since he became uh, a. Rat. Just chill. We ain't finna get on that because you know it's gonna be it's gonna lead to somewhere totally, you know, left. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. How? What you talking about? I'm just saying like we just. No, we're not gonna speak on that. We don't gotta speak on it. I'm just saying, since he became a known rat, okay. his music ain't fire. I'm, st- I'm fucking with it. You know, I'm I mean, fucking with it. Okay, you know, I mean, I'm fucking with it. You know, we just gonna gonna talk about something else. 
You know what I'm We're going to talk about something else? <laughs> gonna, he's funny as hell. I picked that up. Because think he's funny. He's just not going to talk about nothing else about that. But yeah, I'm looking forward to them boys. Yeah, we're going to talk about something else. Funny but, as hell. But also, though, didn't Brent drop a, a single? Brent Fires? Yeah. He definitely dropped a single. And I'm looking forward to his shit, too. Yeah. Brent, bro, he's he been underwhelming me lately. His last album was good, but it was just kind of underwhelming. That nigga did nothing with it. And he's supposed to go on tour soon. I think he's about to go, supposed to go yeah, on he tour. He is about to go on tour. Finally, but I barely seen any any uh, visuals for the, anything from the last project. When it came out last year, right? Yeah, it came out last year. Yeah, I, need, I need Bryson Tiller to drop some shit, bro. I just need yeah, these R&B niggas his, to be more consistent. His first album was the hardest one, bro. Like the, the one you put out after that, that shit was all right. But I need that nigga to get back in his bag, bro. Mm. Drop some other shit. And I want to see Rod Wade drop another album. Mm-hmm. You know how how hard I feel with Rod Wade. Yeah, yeah shit, crazy. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But now, yeah, I'm, as far as Versa, yeah, I'm looking forward for. Um, I know Uzi about to drop at the end of the month. The Pink Tape, Uzi, Uzi oh, dropping yeah. at the end of the month. Yeah. V, I mean, I don't know if niggas really listen to V's, but V's about to drop and like. V's cool. He give me like a Babyface Ray type of vibe. I think I like him over with Babyface Ray though. For real? Man, you got to listen to some more his shit. He's really nice, bro. I feel, I feel a Babyface Ray too. I like V's. I like V's over with Babyface Ray. Um, V's about to drop this month. Travis is supposed to drop this month. You know how I feel about Travis. You know, I don't care about Travis like that. Man, Travis going to take over the, the world once he drop, bro. It's going to be like Astro World Part 2, I feel like. With this whole new shit, bro. He's gonna take over this whole shit. I don't think nobody's touching him artistically. I think mean, Future went with Future Drop. Future's on a different level. But <laughs> as far as as far as creatively, hell no. Future's not fucking with him creatively. Hell no. I don't think there's nobody besides Kanye West. Ain't nobody fucking with Travis, bro. Because when he gets in that bag, he gets in his bag, bro. Like, like badly, bro. Like, no funny shit. So I'm waiting for him. I'm waiting for Future. That's really it. I ain't gonna lie to speaking of bag, J. Cole got that bag from Dirt. <laughs> you think it was true? I don't, I don't $2, know. $2,000 every word. But he, he, got, he, said, he got shit that long yeah, yeah, J. Cole he, not giving too many features out like that. But no, nah, nah, he but not. gives out features, though. He gives so, out features. No, no. But, but, yeah, but I, feel like, I feel like that article that shit came out that he's that he's really, that he was uh, charging 2000 I think they got that from his verse that he had said. Yeah. Before, like. yeah. Meet me in the London shit. He was like, I don't know. Like $2,000 every word. But nah, mm-hmm. what you call it was like um, Jordan Lucas. He was like, that's cap. Because he was like, the nigga, if you fuck with a song, you gonna get on the shit. Yeah, like that's. Shit. I feel like that's the type of nigga he is. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? He probably did pay. He probably did throw him some shit. I don't think he charged him that much, bro. To be honest, the song was hard though. Yeah, yeah, yeah that shit tough. Yeah, but yeah, as far as music, I don't know. I just hope this shit get get a little bit better. Like, ain't no no substance coming out. Ain't nothing that really be sticking no more. Like, niggas be hyping nigga drop. For a month, then over it's over with. They on to the next shit type shit. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like with music, I feel like we got a lot more to come. Mm-hmm. And you know, we're just gonna see how it go. You know, so far the year been like, which I give an overall grade for all the music that been dropping so far this year. Like, which I give it as, far as what? Like, you know, like A, B, C, like type jump. Like, I give it. A, I give it. A- Cool over, B. Yeah, overall, I'm giving this shit like a C minus, nigga. I'm giving the cool Damn, B. a C minus almost a D? This shit, we it's only <laughs> six months. Shit, week, bro. Like, it's a lot of albums that drop, bro. We didn't mention a lot, bro. We probably handpicked a little bit out of the me, but even the ones that we did pick, like it, it's kind of just it's just better than the other ones. It's nothing crazy. Like, I don't feel like none of these shits is even nothing crazy, bro. I will say I feel like this year started off a lot better than last year's shit. I can't even remember what came out last year. Let me look that up real quick. Yeah, I don't know. Early last year, mm. not on top of my head. Which I graded though for this year so far. I'm gonna yeah. say, yeah, I'm gonna say like a, a B minus C plus. Yeah. So far, you shit. know, it could be a lot better. Hopefully, this next six months would be a good little turnaround. So, what y'all, real quick, what y'all think that countdown shit was? That barcode that oh, Doug had Doug? posted. What y'all think that was? Yeah, I, I think, think he dropping or. I think he's about to drop. What, got that third post of the account now? So like, as soon as Gunna posted his out, like, he dropped the album? Like, 10 minutes later. 10 minutes Thug, later, Thug posted a barcode. Like, like, a QR code. A QR code. And the whole Instagram. You ain't see it? Nah. Everybody been posting this QR yeah. code, bro. But it's a countdown. And and, it, and the caption, it say, business is business. Yeah. But when, but when you uh scan the QR code, it's, it's just like a countdown. It's a countdown. And it, was, it said five days. It's probably, it's probably on, like, three days now. 
I said five days. So everybody. I don't know if he gonna to drop. drop. I don't know. Ooh. I don't know. Even gonna post. Even gonna repost. Gonna repost the shit too. Everybody reposted. It gotta be an album because before you said Gunner was gonna post his pops, I, th- I thought it was gonna be like a little message saying like, how, like you know, they don't fuck with Gunner and shit. Like I thought it was a QR code going to Gunner shit. <laughs> it <laughs> might be though. No funny shit. I feel, honestly, the way that he did it, what if it's something involving Gunner though? Like, because why did he pick that day? Like, ten minutes after he dropped, bro. And you said which one called posted a picture too, ain't it? Look, then you know, you know, little Duke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. little Duke. He ain't post since he got out of jail. Since he took the same plea deal, or whatever with uh, with Gunner. He posted a little. Well, he posted pit. a little picture, a little in the mirror. Posted a little fit right after Gunner dropped too. Damn. I don't know, bro. Some something going on. Something we just have to wait and see. Son. We just we just what y'all niggas doing. By the time this episode <laughs> come out, we gonna about? we gonna find out what it is. Right. Yeah, yeah. We definitely gonna see. I think they just 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 get over this whole shit with Gunner, bro. Oh, facts, bro. Cause, Cause I don't like how niggas don't got the same energy for Umfoon, bro. Even though he locked up again, but. He took the same deal, bro. I think it's stupid, bro. Yeah, he took the same dumb, deal. Dummy of the year. <laughs> His ass went back to prison. <laughs> Donkey of the day. Right. For a, a good nine years. We're going to holler at him. Yeah, stupid ass. I don't know. But shit. But you want to know who had a tough ass year, though? Just to go on a whole other topic? Ja. Ja Morant. Yeah, Jaw ja uh-huh. ja had a rough year. Not no tough year. His ass had a rough year. Yeah. Well, he another nah, dummy. He, he, he did that shit on himself, bro. He another dummy of the year too, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Not yet. That boy said that shit was a was, was a, a toy little, gun. A toy gun. It doesn't matter, Jaw. Your ass in the league. Yeah, Why the hell you some guns? Man, it, honestly, he he been getting lucky though. I don't think it's been that tough, but yeah, it, it's just lucky. the it's just the amount of money he's about to lose is kind of crazy. But he just still got paid a bag anyways. He suspended for what, 20, 25, 25 games. Twenty five games. Slap on the wrist both times. That wasn't bad. That ain't bad. I feel like he should get more. But I just seen that 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 uh, that he's a candidate for the, the cover of two K for this year. That's what I saw They're on social media. They, they, they can't are, be yeah. stupid, bro. Right, that's what I said. If, on if, none, if none of this happened, I feel like it would have been cool for him to be a, a cover a candidate. Because didn't Luca already have a ca- a cover? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I feel like I feel like it would been fine. But they should put Jokic though. Y'all was just thinking yeah. that Jokic. Yeah, they might well. Okay. Yo, let's talk about the Miami. We don't got that much time. Like, can we talk about the Heat, y'all, y'all boys? I'm, I'm, I'm proud of my boys, even though we ain't go all the way. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I'm, I'm proud of my boys, man. I'm, I'm very proud of the Heat. I like how the way how they fought. They was in the AC, AC to the knocking finals. down teams left and right. Yeah, they, they just the, ran out of gas against the Nuggets. Yeah, it's hard to guard your kitchen, yeah. Jamal Murray, bro. Like, Jamal just Murray, that whole team. Them two niggas is. I think that whole team tough. is just different. Right, just yeah. the way like they just fit in they roll so perfectly, bro. The way they move that ball, bro. Right. And just having Jokic our best pass is just crazy. Right. Like, like right. What, what are you gonna do? Oh, and then everybody, there. like everybody, really, really play their role to to the. AC kicked in. Oh my god. Oh yes, yeah, Sersky. <laughs> <But> yeah. <laughs> I've been over here dying a whole <laughs> episode. Niggas gonna put the AC on now? God. Oh my god. Right. But yeah, but everybody on the Nuggets. Like everybody stepped up where where they needed to. Like Aaron Gordon, Aaron Gordon stepped up. Michael Porter Jr. was stepping up. Like even Bruce Caldwell Pope was stepping up. Like Bruce Brown came off the bench. Bruce right? Brown, Brown going crazy. Christian Brown, the new the rookie was going crazy. Yeah. Like I don't know, it's just too many people. Yeah, it's just it's just tough with uh yeah. with Denver. I ain't gonna lie. Shit, that, did y'all see some of the some of the free agent um the, some people that's gonna become a free agents this Vooch, season? nigga. I hope we get Vooch, bro. Ain't people no saying we are gonna get Brooke. Brooke who? Lopez. Bro Lopez, I, I wouldn't be mad at that. We get Brooke Lopez and Bradley Beal. We need a real big, bro. That's the, that, that, that'll, that'll be probably the best best thing that happen. We need bro. a real, we need a real big, bro. But I, 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 don't, I don't think they're gonna get a big though. I don't know. I don't think they're gonna be smart and get a big. We gonna we gonna trade to get Bill, and we are gonna have to pick up Brooke and move Bam to the four. As long as we keep Caleb Martin, bro, I don't really care who they give up. Right, like, I don't care. on the like bench players type shit. I don't really, really care who they give up. Really, Caleb like Struess and them niggas. I don't really. I don't they, know, they but good, but I like stress. I I, I like I, Duncan. I, no, I fuck with them boys, but I'm saying like to get Bradley Bill, bro. I wouldn't be mad if they give up like Max Struess and Gabe Vincent and them niggas. Yeah. You think we're gonna keep Tyler? I don't think I gonna get that much people though, Got bro. I gonna get Brooke and and who and Bradley, Bradley Bill. Bill. I, I think we just get we gonna get one solid player. I just hope like as good as it would be to get like to get um Bradley Bill or like Bradley Dame. Dame. Oh I wouldn't be mad, but at the same time, bro, I feel like. We need a solid big. Like, yeah, Bam be doing his thing. Or at least an okay but backup big. We just at need least. a good big, bro. Right. Even to move Bam down to the four, bro. Something. Right. We need a good big. I don't know. So you're not jacking Dylan Brooks? Next topic. 
<laughs> Why I don't like that nigga going know, to the Dylan Shanghai Bush, Sharks, he just, nigga. He just I don't know, not like that, that bad, nigga. bro. He just he just bullshit. He just be bullshit and talking bro, too much. He trying to be like Draymond, bro. That shit is not going to work. I don't think he's trying to be like Draymond. He's trying to be the NBA's villain, but he's not that good. The amount of shit he talk to versus how he play, that shit does not match. So well, niggas can say the same shit about Patrick Beverly, bro. Like Patrick Beverly got it's good a bunch defense. of niggas like that, bro. Patrick Beverly got good defense. Nigga, Dylan Brooks got good defense too. All right, what then. you so, be watching, bro? Don't that, nigga. I don't, I don't like. I don't like the nigga. I don't really like the nigga too much. I don't care, but like y'all can't just down. Like feel me, like all right, then pick him up on on the yeah, Suns. Go to Brooklyn, nigga. Or the Suns. I wouldn't be mad at it, bro. But but we don't. But we don't need a nigga. I don't think the Suns. The Suns need a nigga that in that position. If if we did, I, I wouldn't mind picking up Dylan Brooks, nigga. But Chris Paul about to be out of here, and DeAndre Ayton got raped. Hey, yo. DeAndre Ayton got 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 fucked hey, by yo. your bitch. <laughs> that nigga might need to do some shit, bro. I hope he doing push ups as we speak because he got so. bro. That nigga's a rape victim, bro. At this point, bro. I, that nigga got me so mad. And the last yeah. game of the fucking series, the nigga was oh I'm out with a rib contusion. That nigga had an anal tear, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga got fucked by Jokic, bro. Bad, bro. I don't understand. Yeah, that but, like, how do y'all feel about Jokic's game, though? Because a lot of people say, like, the way how he got the ball in the paint, like, he just be elbowing folks. He flopped. Bro, do you understand how much niggas fuck him up, bro? They be trying to fuck him up, bro, because he's heavy. He's a big nigga, bro. Exactly. Look, look, we did a Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry stayed on the floor. Nigga, I, if I'm Jokic, I'm throwing any, bro. I'm throwing elbows. I'm doing whatever, bro. Yeah. But, I, I, but he stayed composed. For, for all the times he began fucked up, he stayed composed with everything, bro. I feel I feel like his game is flawless, bro. All right. I feel like and just flawless. and just to end off the show with a with a little debate, I want y'all to leave y'all answers in the comments. Do y'all feel like when a team win their conference championship, is it relevant? Oh like, my god. You're not about to bring this up. Yes, I got to. Is it, it like do you find it relevant? Like, it's an accomplishment, bro. Okay. But that shit, bro. Relevant to what? Cause, what, what, what was the whole nature of that argument, bro? I was saying like, oh, 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 he, he was talking about Jimmy. Yeah, oh, Jimmy's a conference champ, though. Yeah, he's yeah, a conference, he a conference champ. So what, bro? A lot of teams don't get that. So some what, bro? I don't feel don't like that makes his feel. legacy better or worse, bro. It don't even matter, bro. That nigga's zero and two in the finals. That's what niggas gonna talk about more than anything, bro. Okay. Oh, he might be zero and three. Well, no, zero and two. No, he, no, he's zero and three. Zero and three. He's zero and three in the finals. That's what niggas gonna talk about more than him getting conference championships. But still, He's a three-time though, conference champion, zero-time champion. But a lot of people don't got that that accolade. So what? It doesn't. I don't. Even, I don't think that should make any anything better for you, bro. But it do. That adds to your resume. Chris Paul's a conference champ, but niggas go. What niggas go talk about down the line? He got. He got one. Chris Paul got one. What conference championship? Yeah, and it don't matter. It ain't win no rings. It don't matter. Charles Barkley to this day, what do they clown him for, bro? Not really? having a ring. Uh, Never had a ring. That nigga lost to Jordan in the championship, bro. He's a conference champion too. Nobody cares, bro. Bruh, it do, it do make. It he don't. Like, you don't say, yo. At least I'm a conference champion. Nobody niggas do not care about that, bro. Right. It should. It it really should. Nah. Cause that's a good. Jimmy accolade. is zero and three. That's. And fine. remember that conversation you asked me if Jimmy's overrated or not. I think that I've, I'm. I feel like he's kind of a little bit overrated this playoffs now, bro. Cause come on, bro. What, like, like what is he really doing these past two two series, bro? Caleb Martin saved his ass in the conference in the conference finals. It's a team game. He, so Caleb Martin saved him. He it's wasn't a, playing it's good. It's a team game. No, he wasn't playing good, bro. It's a team game. And that's cool, but he was not playing good. Okay. It's not, it's not he a, was not playing good. It's not a one-player game. But he wasn't playing good. Okay. He wasn't playing his best, but I mean. He wasn't playing good, bro. Okay. Even, even with the Celtics, when Brown and Taylor wasn't doing good, his role players was doing good. So it's he a team game. He wasn't playing good. Okay, but it's, th they, it's a I team feel like game. Niggas, I think niggas seen a little fifty point game and just like, oh my god, play with Jimmy. Oh, uh, I, I can't say no play. I personally I, don't think he overrated. I don't think. But he bro, you know nah, everybody go hype shit on up on a regular on a regular on a regular down. Think he's overrated, but the first I games, feel like they overrated him this playoffs. Bro. The first three games versus Probably. the Suns. Oh shit, that nigga went crazy. Yeah, the first three. Yeah, games. the first three games. Nigga went crazy. Uh, yeah, the last three games. Then the whole then the whole finals. You got to think about it. We had role players that went crazy. Like, Vincent had a 30-point yeah. game. Yeah, but when they needed him to step up, what happened, bro? Niggas went down 4-1. What happened, bro? Niggas folded. Niggas okay. folded. Playoff Jimmy, though. I, I fuck with Jimmy, but I feel like they 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 overrated him in this playoffs, bro. But it's whatever. We talk about that another time. We talk about some more basketball shit. Right. I think we run out of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make shit. sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know in the comments how y'all feel about that whole debate we just had. Y'all leave y'all input on what y'all think. Of y'all answers of what we asked, and we'll see you on the next episode. Yeah.
Other than that, I feel good to be back. We're not we're not gonna go nowhere this time, bro. We promise. We're be bro. consistent though. We're gonna be consistent. And if any guests wanna pull up, bro, we're trying to look for some guests to pull up. Feel me? Have a good conversation. But if you got some shit to say, feel me? Hit the Southeast Players Club DM on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just holler at me, feel what's, me. What's up?